Hey, it's Longest Solo Ever here, and today we're talking about how to make your own chromatic scale for Friday Night Funkin'. If you're making your own original song in Friday Night Funkin', you want to have an original voice for it too, this is the best way to do it in FL Studio. I do also have a tutorial for Ableton Live. If you haven't started producing music yet and you're looking to choose a type of software to use, I don't recommend FL. I personally just don't like it. I really recommend Ableton Live. So if you're just starting out, go watch my tutorials down below in Ableton. If you're already on FL and you want to learn how to make a chromatic scale, this is how to do it. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to Options and then Audio Settings. Make sure this says FL Studio ASIO, click into Show ASIO Panel, and then just make sure this input matches whichever input device you're using. If that's a USB mic, if it's a USB audio interface like I have here, just make sure it matches up because we're going to need that to record our vocal samples for this. You can close out of those, and then we're going to head over to our mixer, which is this little button right here, or you can press F9 on your keyboard, and we'll get this. Click on anywhere on Insert 1. It should highlight just like that. And then on the right side of your screen, You'll see right above all these slots, this little pull down menu, we're going to pull this down to input one. Uh, and you can check yes when it asks this, if it asks this. And you should see some levels coming in now if you're talking into your microphone. I did turn this channel off because otherwise, otherwise it's, it's coming, coming back, back at, at me. me. And that's that's annoying. Uh, so if it's, if it's making sound back at you or if you're getting feedback, you can click this little light here to turn the channel off just for listening so we don't have to hear it for a moment. Okay, so we have that. That's good. We can close out of this window and we're going to go up to the record button here. And when you click on it, it should ask you, what would you like to record? If it doesn't ask you that you can hold alt and click it. And this should pop up. Uh, we are going to say audio into the playlist as an audio clip because we want to record our singing, our talking uh, into the playlist view right here. So we can edit that audio in a moment. So you're going to click audio into the playlist as an audio clip. Okay, and now as I'm talking, you can see it's recording audio. If I talk, we'll see a little bump. And what we want to do now is record different vowel sounds. Uh, try to sing them all in one line. And I would try to do the ones I do here. You can do any ones you want. You can do as many or as few as you want. But this is what's pretty typical for Friday Night Funkin'. I'm actually going to stop this and restart it. Just so we don't have all that junk. Here we go. And what I'm going to try to do is fill up an entire one of these measures. You can see this distance from one to two here, or two to three. I'm gonna try to fill one up with a note. I'm gonna try to keep it really steady. Ah, uh, e, a, o, u. And when you're done, you can hit stop up here and we should have just these nice big clean like bricks of sound there. Okay, so we have our five vowel sounds recorded here, but we're gonna need a lot more than five notes. We're probably gonna need close to 36 notes or so. We have five, we need 36. We're gonna duplicate this a few times. So you can take this pattern right here, select it with the selector tool, or you can just control drag over it. We're gonna hit edit, copy, and then edit, paste. You can also use the shortcuts for those. You can see here, control C and control V. Grab your pencil tool again, and we're going to drag that over here. So your screen should look just like this. I'm going to paste it again. We're going to get another one. So we should have 15 notes now. Let's do one more. We don't have to do the full like 36 for this tutorial, but just know the more of these you make, the more range your singer is going to have. And that's a good thing. One last thing we want to do now is turn this track back on. Uh, if you don't want to hear your voice, you can click on this track, change this input back to none. And you can see we don't get any more sound there. And then you can turn the track back on so we can hear the audio in here. Uh, e, A, O. Okay, so we've got all our vowel sounds lined up. They're still in separate patterns, separate chunks of audio. And so we're going to right click on this track choose consolidate tracks down here and we're going to choose from track start you can leave all of this the same press start down here in the corner and we get this nice consolidated track let's take a listen to that uh, e, a. great next we have to auto-tune this file so we're going to grab our pencil tool up here double click on the audio file itself and then down here where it says audio clip you're going to right click and choose edit in pitch corrector. It's gonna analyze all that audio 
and you should see this new window come up. You can make it a little bigger by grabbing the corner, dragging it, and then let's find our audio. If you hold control while moving the scroll wheel, you can zoom in and out, or alt helps you zoom up and down, that's nice too. And what we wanna do is tune each of these to a different note. The first thing you wanna do though, is we wanna auto-tune this, uh, so we wanna make it sound flat. So it looks like this right now. Uh, e, a, o. And we wanna flatten that out, really auto-tune it hard, like T-Pain style. We're gonna move this center knob all the way up, and you're gonna see these notes just kinda of move into place. Then hold a variation and pull that down. They flatten out. And finally, transition really flattens things out even further. So now we have every one of these all set to go. And what we wanna do is move these to specific notes. The very first one, you wanna move down to C. Probably C4, if you sang it where I sang it, it might be a different C, but just the nearest C is a good place to start. So you wanna mouse over and find this up and down arrow shape for your mouse. If you see the hand, you're in the wrong place. Move a little to the right, and you should see this up and down arrow. We're gonna move these down until we're just doing one in each line. So we're starting from C. Our next one's at C sharp. Our next one's at D. So you can see we have these right in a row. Right? One in each line, one for each of these vowel sounds. And I'm just gonna go through and do that for each of these. Make sure you get all the little pieces. If one of them gets cut off of a note, make sure you grab it and bring it with it. And you can see I'm just doing one in a row. Make sure you don't miss a single step because if you do, all your notes will be tuned to the wrong notes and that's not good. And there we go. Okay, so that's all our notes tuned. Okay, pretty good. Now, next thing you wanna do, do not close this window yet. Go up to the little floppy disk drive. You're gonna choose save sample as, and you're gonna give this a name. Uh, I'm gonna give this the name uh, chromatic dry because we haven't put any effects on it yet. Um, so let's just name that chromatic dry. And now we can close this window. Now we're gonna pull in that audio file. Go to the left side of your screen here. Find where the little audio waveforms are. Click on that. We're gonna go down to rendered and you should see chromatic dry in there. Uh, that's it. I'm going to close these windows and drag that right into my session here. And I got rid of all these because we don't need those anymore. What we do need is to go back to our channel rack, which is this button right here, or you can press F6. And we are going to hit the plus button here to add a new instrument. And that instrument is going to be Slice X, which is right here. SliceX is an instrument that lets you play back slices of a giant audio file as different pieces. It's made for playing back like chunks of drum loops and stuff or vocal chops, but in this case, we're using it to play back an actual scale that we've sung from bottom to top. So in this space down below, you're gonna go to Chromatic Dry over here in your rendered folder and drag it right into this space. And you can see we have all our different notes, that's great. Now you could try and draw in every single one of these notes. If I zoom in here, I can click in a space and add a marker. And each of these markers is gonna be a single note. You can double click and then place them. But I'll be honest, that kind of takes forever. Uh, it does work. But we're not gonna do any of that by hand because that's gonna take forever. What we're gonna do is get rid of all of these. Let's hit clear and delete all these markers. We can drag that in one more time. You're gonna right click on auto slicing, which is this little button right here, right next to the MIDI notes. It's this one right here. Right click and we're gonna choose dull auto slicing. This is the least sensitive auto slice and it's just gonna look for the start of any notes. Okay, that kinda worked. Probably a little too sensitive. So we're gonna have to cut some of these. At this point, it might have been faster to do this by hand, but you can right click on each of these and delete them or you can do them all by hand like I showed you before. As long as what's most important is every single note has its own marker and no extra markers where you don't need them. So you just want one marker at the beginning of each note. I'm just going through and right clicking. You can see this process kind of takes a while, but once you get into a rhythm of it, it's not as bad. Okay, 
And there we go, we have notes. And you can see them mapped to a keyboard here. Now let's try playing some stuff. So you can see we have some notes there. I did run out of room because we didn't make that many samples here. But what we do have works pretty well. That is a chromatic scale. The last thing you're going to want to do is save this uh, with all its slices and everything set up perfectly. Once you've done all your slicing, you want to go to this little save button again. And we're going to say save sample as, and then we'll say chromatic sliced you can name this whatever you want as long as it's something you'll remember that this is the one you already did let's see what happens if we bring up a brand new copy of slice x and drop in our sliced audio file that should be in your rendered folder here chromatic sliced we drop it in and there we go it's already got our slices all saved for us so this wave file is your chromatic scale it's ready to go you can share this with your friends over discord or whatever and that is all you need to drop into slice x or any similar uh slicing sampler uh, contact can do this ableton can do this so you have tons of options here cool i hope that helped if you have any questions leave them in the comments down below and i will get back to you and if you like this video please subscribe and like for more friday night funkin tutorials and of course friday night funkin metal guitar covers mods all kinds of fun stuff right here on longest solo ever thank you so much for watching and happy modding